Good morning, good day everyone. Welcome, welcome back. We have video review today again, but this time from DP Clubs. We didn't have video from DP Clubs for a long time, I would say, right? So finally the package arrived and we have some interesting stuff in here. Couple of diamond painting canvases, which is a couple, <laughs> four of them. Then we have some 3D project and some tools. So let's start with tools and then uh, we'll go with little project and go up and up and side. So first what I want to show you is this little tiny tool that it's called, I believe, on a website mixing spoon tool. And I do have two of them that I ordered a long time ago from Aliexpress, I think, and I wanted to see if this is like a better quality or some difference, but I think it's the same thing. They have a good price for it, and this one, it's like baby pink color, and also I believe have this white crystal in here, and they have a, like a little tiny spatula on this side. So there is a multi-purpose of this tiny tool. For example, when I do my own nails and I want to do uh, glittery nails, I use this little tiny spatula to grab my glitter from tiny jar to pour over my nails to kind of shake it up and make it glittery. Uh, you can make some paint with it, maybe you're working with acrylic, um, you have to scoop it out from the jar sometimes. Uh, even pick up some tiny beads, uh, it's just a little tiny accessory that is a cute and I thought maybe you would like to have this, uh, you know that store have them. Even when you do a video and you want to point it out something, better point it out with something cute than just with your finger, right? Usually I do that <laughs> because I always forget to grab something handy to my hands. Uh, and next one we have this uh, pen. Now there is a difference we just recently did with you unboxing and I showcase you a yellow pen this kind that have refiller on the inside of the pen and I feel like you are very very far away from me so let's get a little bit towards me I hope this back uh, drop did not distract you too much because I flip on a very bright side I feel like color today so that's why if it's too bright let me know I will flip it next time on the other side to have a pastel colors now what different between this um, tools and the other uh, with the yellow tool we had a uh, yellow coordinating wax which I think we have was a five or six I already forgot so let's count again we have one two three so six pieces six pieces of very cute blue wax that never will arrive to you with any like regular diamond painting and i like this idea and also i believe i know i signed some other stores so check it out if dp clubs have they have like a package of just the wax and a little container that have um, many colors of wax blocks so when you have a many different pen this kind it's good to coordinate them with the same uh, wax color because then when you put this plastic tip in here uh, you're not going to see like on a blue pen for example pink wax go through your pen so it's going to be blue and blend in with this color it kind of look better first let's see this design is absolutely amazing looks like a ribbon on the inside floating very 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 cool colors in here and then when we open this part which last time i used this oh no okay i can pull it out and then on this side we have refill wax blue color which always with you on a go. I really, really love this idea. And I said that before, that this is really comfy to always have a wax with you. And this one looks like closing much easier than was my other one. Uh, now, the difference only is the tips. 
Oh, sorry. Let's get some focus. Okay. Uh, my yellow pen had plastic tips. So this one have uh, stainless steel. So definitely this uh, set will be a little bit more money because obviously this tips is more fancy. Fancy schmancy. Let's okay. You know the disadvantage with the little nail that you cannot do nothing. So let's use this little tiny spatula to help me out. Oh, there's a sticky tape. That's what it is. Okay. I did not see the sticky tape. Okay. It happens. Okay. So now what kind of tools we have in here? We have in here, first of all, this little elastic band that go around your tools. If this not tight enough to go into your pen, and I will go for which one I will go tip in here. Well, let's do straightener. No, let's do... I want to see this one because sometimes we have these tips are smaller then it should be and not go well to grab the diamond. So this one looks like bigger opening maybe. Um, so we have in here a bandy pen, which that's what I was talking about. It's easy to work for me. For example, if I would diamond paint like this and my fingers or nails is not in your view. Uh, instead of it's been if this would be straight I would have to point it out my hand straight to place my diamonds I would like whole hand go in front of the camera so I really like the um, uh, bandy pen now we have one straight one diamond nozzle or tip then we have three placer uh, doesn't have a two no doesn't have this one too but we do have a three placer which on this you can see the numbers nice nice quality they do have already those elastic bands around them but this is just a extra just for in case this can rub it off and you need the replacement which is wonderful uh, then we have of course oh, straightener they can uh, weight nice and heavy so it's a good quality tools then we have what is this six yes it's a six placer and we have ten no this is nine nine placer sometimes i think it's ten but it is says nine placer so we will believe that so yes, the, the toolkit, this one is more fancy, so definitely you have a choice and I'm sure they also have a variety uh, with this kind of um, set of tips or with plastic. So check it out on the website and you can pick exactly what you want and I just love the idea that all this pen have coordinating color of wax. I really, really like that. So I'm just going to keep this uh, bandy um, tip in here. So soon enough, hopefully we'll do some whip and chat and we can test it out, our new pen, if this is comfortable to hold or not. Uh, because you can hold where is like this little, like a band in here, like a skirt, uh, how would I say? Uh, maybe it's a little bit too far. Maybe you like to hold where it's like in the middle, this chubby part. If I hold the chubby part, it's kind of, I feel a little bit awkward in here. I don't know. So definitely have to find where is the proper spot to hold this pen. Uh, with the wax in here and feel kind of heavy, like this is going to fall down. So check it out if you're gonna like that or not. If you feel like it's a little bit heavy, you can pull out this part and just leave on a table and use it like a empty 
Whereas then that's how it looks like when you pull out. So you can use without the closure, uh, but um, I think it's a great idea that you have always have um, a wax on a go with you, kind of air trying to push the cup out. Okay, now it's closed. All right, so I just wanted to let you know that you can have a two ways. Um, there is, I believe there is a more tools and I actually ordered difference to show you this um, set of different kind of tools to go in a kit with um, a little bit different shape of the pen. Uh, I'm not sure, but DP clubs might have them too. So always check um, new stuff. When I go to the website, I always look for the new product first that came to the store. That way you will see all the new product that just released. And usually when one store have that, all the other stores will have that too. Now in here we have some cute mandala, uh, looks like a coaster or something. I think it's a coaster. Okay, so this is on a plywood. Sometimes could be um, this acrylic. Uh, this one we have on the plywood. Very nice design. I love mandalas. And we have a little tool set, which we have only millions of them. And diamonds. Let's see diamonds. What are some different shape also? Very little project. Th this diamonds looks good. Let's see close to the camera. I think they look good. And a clear one, a red, no, I think diamonds are perfect, and leaf shape. Alright, so that's the cute little project that we can do one day, um, that would be like a very, very fast, but you know what? Diamond's tiny, so probably will take you more than half an hour to do. So I would love to work with you on this little project to kind of to start. And maybe we will test it out, the tools, okay? Next one, we have canvases. We have two smaller and two bigger ones. We will start with the smallest one, which probably 30 by 40 more likely. So 30 by 40 centimeters. Okay, I remember now. I remember now, dancing girl. Uh, ballerina. Young ballerina. Let's get this fixed. All these bubbles get out. Oh, nice. Maybe not so nice. Hold on. Okay, now better. We have legends on the both sides, but it's a very tiny looking canvas. So I don't think really not, it's not necessary to me to have a uh, two of this numbers on the both sides, but you know what? Sometimes it's even probably better when we have on the both sides because sometimes accidentally on the factory it could cut accidentally more than it should be and you're not going to, for example, on this side versus DMC on the outside of the picture. Uh, sometimes I will receive it's like so close cut that some DMC numbers haven't like chopped. And when you want to pull, put away your leftovers, you don't know what number that is. So it's kind of good, I would say, to have them both, but not really needed, I would say, on a small canvas. So here it is for all you dancers up there. Just a very 
nice. I always love ballerina, maybe because uh, I was a dancer and this is kind of like very close to me when we start every day with warm up, all those ballet moves and I, I, I missed my dancing. So I decided I, I should have this ballerina in my collection. Maybe your kids dancing, going to ballet school. So this is, would be beautiful present for your daughter, maybe for her room if she's doing any dancing. We have in here a set of tools, same one as usual, and round diamonds. So the colors in here, 22 colors, and to be honest, it's a very almost like a green and gray color so I'm not going to open this pack of diamonds I'm just going to show you that it's it's really like there's nothing really special special about these diamonds they all kind of like a neutral colors you know no bright colors very very muted colors very like a, it's going to be very nice and soft picture but I, I love this design and I thought you might well like it too. If not, well, everybody has their own taste, right? Okay, picture number two. You know my obsession with the sunflowers. So here is one of them. And I purposely ordered this one with tons of background, which is supposed to be black background because it's been not first time that I have a picture with lots of black diamonds uh, for the background because the picture that I look so good I have a roses I have a grapes I have maybe sunflower before that I did like a few years back and they look so amazing with the black background um, you know, the, the only thing I would recommend maybe for the company to do, because, you know, every time we open our canvas and we have to do this part, to restick this clear sheet, because the way they fold the canvas, um, it's just this plastic moving or squishing canvas or get this air get underneath. And sometimes we have a little bit of the um, kind of like a, air uh, rivers or some kind of little bit like folds like this so if companies listen to me maybe they can pass to each other to the factory who is packing these canvases uh, I will give you a tip what would be better because when I for example if I finish my uh, review and I don't want to have a that particular time my canvas is flat because I don't have a, a room where to put it and I want to wrap them back to put away um, see the, the way they do okay so here's the toolkit uh, they put this way so when you wrap it like this the uh, this sheet get stretched because it's you cannot stretch too much this way it immediately create this bubble you see that so here is what you have to do wrap this way you're not going to distress the clear sheet and obviously for all you people up there who like to wrap your diamond paint and back do this way okay when you place diamonds on the top yes do diamonds up but when it's can and when it's a canvas empty put this clear sheet on the inside you're not going to disturb the clear sheet and it's not gonna squish your um, canvas actual so um, this way I like much better and that's why I always do uh, and then later it's just a easy you know would be uh, smoothed out and that's it in my opinion you have your opinion that would be um, great Okay, so we have in here 22 colors and um, what do you think about this design? I think it looks beautiful. 
and um, I'm just oh, let me just check on the cell phone. Uh, 22 colors we have in here. I always love in sunflowers the part of the center. It's cute because you have so many colors in here. You have in here, you know, an orange and red. And by the way, you know that I'm working on custom sunflowers. Oh, the bloom is coming out from this bag. Okay. Um, and I can hear that we have a long one. People cutting grass, that's probably my husband or I even cut grass on my yard. So I will continue video in a few minutes. But just want to finish. Sorry for all the noises. If you can hear them, hopefully you don't. There. We are going to continue our video in a few seconds. Guess what? My next design is also sunflowers, but this is a little bit different. This is more like... Mm, I don't even know how to say, like an old design or something. Um, gorgeous vase with the peacock in here and it's a beautiful bouquet of flowers vase it's like a very antique uh, vase or something very fancy oh let's see i need to get rid of those uh, wrinkles because it's so reflective that when i put canvas in a proper way for you to see you cannot see it so that's why I would recommend them to do canvas the other way. It would be much nicer, I think. You try it home and you, and you see if you like this way better when you fold your canvas the other way. Love arrangement of flowers in here. It's all wild flowers. And the ways in here are so gorgeous. I can see this being like as a cross stitch with lots and lots of colors maybe, but not the no brand cross stitch. I didn't mean those cheap brands that basically just a few colors. This one to make it, it need to be like more than 100 colors. I think this is so beautiful with pink cross stitch, but diamond paintings is not less gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? I love the vase. I think in this particular design, I will keep it this way so we can see a little bit better. In here, it's not much even about flowers. It's the vase that draw my attention. I don't know why. Because, yes, I love some flowers. I love this flowers bouquet. But the vase is spectacular in here. I don't know how about you and what you think about this design. But look at this. It's like a big amount of uh, siding for this canvas. Huge numbers printed of the numbers of DMC on both sides in here. This is 40 by 50 centimeter full canvas in 24 colors and dark, dark blue let me just see no i think it's a pretty good visibility even on a dark good clarity uh, how about in this kind of like a very busy area uh, some symbols maybe not as good to see right especially on the red by making a white symbol it's a bad idea in my opinion, it has to be black. It will be more visible. But it's gorgeous. So we have two kits. Same, but in a Ziploc baggie. And this design we have already pre-packed into the Ziploc bags. That's wonderful. Thank you for that. So the colors in here. Colors in here. Crunch, crunch. It's a pretty turquoise color in here. Interesting. It doesn't seem like it's a lot of colors in here when I look through the bag. 
but the pictures are so colorful so I was like hmm is there even enough colors in here but we have to wait and see so we need to create this diamond painting and I don't know why my camera getting out of the focus sorry for that so yes check it out 24 colors good size canvas and picture gorgeous in my opinion now we have one more one more canvas and I think many of you will like who has little kids oh see I didn't bring my scissors and this is going to be a sticky situation so I need to I need to rip this bag Your kids will love it. So I see lately many of this kind of canvases on different websites. And I have to say, look, it's not very much my type of canvases, but many of you have tiny kids who would probably, oh no, maybe that's a different, not what I thought. Or that is princess. Is it princess? Um, is a what kind of princess is it? Okay, we have a toolkit, or it's not print. No, I think it's like a series of a whole bunch of those all those Disney princesses, but like in a very fancy way. I think that's what it is, unless I'm mistaken. And diamonds in here also prepacked into the Ziploc bags. And looks like we have some pretty pink and purplish colors up there. We are not going to open because basically all colors you can see in here now size of this canvas 40 by 60 centimeters let's see this way I'm just trying to think if this is uh, actual Disney princess or this is like this um, Asian beauties. No, I think it's a princess. So what kind of princess is it? Blonde hair. Come on, come on, think about it. it doesn't look like a puzzle. It's not Cinderella. Is it beauty? No. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused now. I forgot. I thought I know, but now I don't. Is it Disney princess? Who is it? Who is it? Who is she? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Oh, her dress. Just a minute, my friends. Let me just even up this squeaky sheet to give it up some flare of this wrinkles. And I will show you more clothes. Okay, so who is this young lady? It's beautiful dress. She has such a gorgeous dress. All the way go down and what is she doing Let, let's me look on her there's like a roses around her um yeah i think it's a roses around the canvas in here and i'm just trying to think what kind of princess is she or she just a kind of like a just a beauty um i cannot recall at this moment but there's lots of different canvases like this with different girls and I thought I'm just gonna show you one at least if you like the designs and you like this kind of style maybe you have a little kids who collect them uh, you can put that's a beautiful picture for your princess room you know what I mean now 24 colors in here and I think I already mentioned 40 by 60 centimeters canvas so it's a nice size for the picture canvas itself is very glittery lots of glitter on the canvas see like it's just like explosions of glitter up there very 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 sparkle very nice clarity of the symbols is really nice love her dress her hair so pretty in here come on let's get some focus in here come on focus focus on my hand focus ah. 
<laughs> what a stubborn, what a stubborn camera. There. What do you think about this canvas? Is this is something that you like? I think she's really elegant in here. Her body language very beautiful in here. Very classy, I would say. Love it. Love it. everything in here from her position, how she sits. Um, if she sits, I think she sits in here. Uh, maybe in some kind of rock and her dress is gorgeous in here nice hair and the face is very very pretty look at this elegant hand the face line the eyes very nice i think this can was gorgeous so there we have it that's our video review for today if you did not visit dp clubs for a long time check it out there's a lots of new product in the store and they add in new stuff i would say weekly probably so check it out and let me know what you think about today's review and i think we should work on this cute little project of this mandala and test it out the pen see how they work if it's comfortable to work or not Leave me your comments, thumbs up. It's help for my channel. If you get a little bit more active on my YouTube channel, I appreciate that. And please subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. I love you and I will see you tomorrow.